Look, Dr. Evans, I don't want to wait any longer. So when can we do this surgery? This week, maybe? I'm sorry, Matthew. About what? I'm not going to operate on you. You mean you want to wait or something, right? I probably have more tests to take. You've had all the necessary evaluations, and I still think that you're a perfect candidate for the surgery. Then what's the problem? Me. I'm not going to operate on you or anyone else. Ever. You've got a messed up sense of humor. I'm not kidding, Destiny. You mean you're never going to operate on anyone ever again? I'm not going to hurt anyone else like I hurt our brother. What happened to Sean wasn't your fault. Of course it was. You didn't shoot him. No, but I insisted on operating on him. You had to. I don't know about that. What I do know is I made a mistake. And I will make sure it never happens again. But Matthew needs you. Matthew needs a surgeon that's not going to kill him. I'm sorry, Matthew, but that's not me. Are you trying to get rid of me? No, I would give you that idea. Go, you're about to be late for your new job. Okay, all right, okay. all right. Hey, um, I didn't even ask about you. Me, I'm... I'm fine. Well, how's Sean? The same. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, me too. Go. the surgery. You're the only one who can. Look, I'll give you a referral. That's not what I mean. My parents talk to every spinal surgeon this side of the Rocky Mountains. Look, I know the name of a good man, okay? He's not on the radar yet, but he will be soon. He's assisted me several times, and he knows this procedure code. His name is Dr. Nance, and he's based out of Seattle. Well, what if he doesn't want to do it either? <sighs> then I'll speak to him myself. If I need to consult him, then I no. will. Look, after all the doctors we talked to, you're the only one who thinks I can walk again. You still believe that, don't you? Look, if I didn't, I wouldn't be helping you find another doctor. I don't want another doctor! I can't do this! Look, I, I'm sorry! But... I know! I know what I said. I'm sorry, but I can't do this. My mind is made up. Look, Greg didn't mean that. Yes, he did. He's just worried about Sean. I can't believe this. I'm not going to get this search. Just give him some time. I don't have time. I'm going to end up in this wheelchair for the rest of my life. Matthew, I'm sorry. It's not your fault. Don't be sorry. But I am. Hey! What's wrong? Did Sean? He's the same. Yeah, and so am I. What do you mean? Greg just said he won't do the surgery. Why not? Why don't you go ask him yourself? Matthew! Matthew, wait! Sunny, warm. Nice day for a ball game, huh? Sometimes my dad would pick me up early from school. Just so we could catch the last few innings. We always sat along the third base line. How's he doing? Won't be catching any foul balls today. I just saw Matthew. He told you? I thought his was a textbook case. It is, but I just remembered something I learned from that textbook. First, do no harm. You think you meant to hurt your brother? Doesn't matter. I didn't uphold the oath. So what, you just stopped being a doctor? I don't know. I just know that I won't be operating on your brother or anyone else ever again. It's understandable for you to be apprehensive. You can say afraid. But you shouldn't make decisions based on fear. Why not? You did. Yeah, and you told me what a mistake that was. Well, I should have kept my big mouth shut. Why? You saw what I was doing, how I was cutting myself off from my life. No, you thought that you were protecting others. Yeah, because I killed someone. And I may as well have. So now I'm taking myself out of situations where I can harm others. 
What about all of those people that you've healed? That girl Loretta in court, and the hundreds like her. Ask anyone. No, why don't we ask my brother Sean, huh? What do you say, bro? Huh? What do you think about my great surgical skills? I don't think he's very impressed. If Sean could talk right now, he would say that you have a gift. You can help people. You sound pretty sure about that. Yeah, just as sure as I am that he's going to come out of this. And when he does, do you think he's going to be happy that you threw your career away? Well, you're the great mind reader. You tell me. I don't have to read minds to know how Sean feels. He loves you. He wouldn't want this. Look, this isn't about what Sean wants. What about what Matthew wants? I told him that I'd help him find another surgeon. I thought you were the only person who was qualified to perform this procedure. Isn't that what you said? I was arrogant. <laughs> I don't doubt that. But you are the one who made my brother believe that he could walk again. I know what I said. That is why he got a lawyer, went to court, and sued his parents for the right to have this surgery. I told him that there would be risk involved. You gave him hope. Look, do you want him to end up like this? There is no guarantee that he will. He can live a rich, full life in a wheelchair. Isn't that what you said? It is not my choice. No, it's mine. And I'm not going to take the risk, okay? Now, if you'll excuse me. I am not finished. So, what else do you have to say? This. I have no idea what you're going through. I wouldn't wish this hell on anyone. Which is exactly why you shouldn't be going through this alone. So who am I supposed to burden with my troubles? Somebody who could help you. <laughs> Are you suggesting that I see a psychiatrist? That's who can help me? Greg! No, no, I'm interested. What are Freud's thoughts on turning my brother into a turnip? I know what it's like to feel lost. Then you're the one who should see a shrink. I do! Ever since that day in court. Her name is Marty Saybrook. She's good, Greg. It'll help. No. You know what'll help? Being with my brother. She's right in the hospital. I'm staying right here. Greg, would you... No, I'm staying here. Now, would you just go and get out?